It's story time. Story, story, story time. Let's read the story time. Story, story, story time. I'm geek the story time. Story, story, story time. You and me is story time. Story, story, story time. Let's achieve hello and welcome to story time with me, Kayla. How's everyone's Sunday going? I hope you're doing well and staying safe. Guess what? We have another two book episode. Today we are going to read the books from Arthur Jenny De La Cruz, who is a licensed counselor, mom, and wife. So without further ado, the two books we will be reading tonight are dun -dun -dun -dun, Fridays with Miss Melange, Haiti, and Mama, Can I Sleep With You Tonight? Nice! Both written by Jenny De La Cruz and illustrations by Danco Herrera. Let's see what these two books are all about. Here we go. Ready, set, let's begin. Mama, can I sleep with you tonight? Written by Jenny De La Cruz and illustrations by Danko Herrera. Here we go. This book is dedicated to all of the children around the globe. Mama, can I sleep with you tonight? Uh, of course, son. Uh, what's wrong? My whole life feels like a bad dream. I feel too many feelings. They're all twisted up. I feel many feelings too, son. I'm still in shock. Our lives changed so quickly. The world we knew just stopped. But now we have to work together to live in this new one. I don't want to believe that COVID-19 is real. Trust me, son, I don't either. Many people are worried about getting sick and we worry about the people we care about. Mama, I miss my friends and going to the park. I miss riding my bike to the ice cream shop. Sometimes I get so mad, I could just burst. Son, I feel the same way. It's frustrating when what's familiar is taken away. But we can look forward to the day when we can do these fun things again. If we went to the ice cream shop, mm, I'd get a chocolate sundae. What about you? A vanilla cone with sprinkles. Mama, what can I do to make it end? What if I pray every day? What if I eat my peas? I just want things to go back to normal. Son, I do too. The good news is that scientists are working hard to find the best treatment and a vaccine. I can't stop feeling sad. I miss Nana's hugs and her good stories, but I don't want her to get sick. My stomach feel like it's full of knots. I miss Nana too, but we're doing the right thing by keeping our distance. We cannot see Nana in person, but we can call her or have a video chat. I guess, but Mama, yes son? I just feel so scared. What scares you, son? Everyone's wearing masks. Those do look scary, but they're the same people behind them. The masks keep everyone safe because it stops the spread of the virus. Remember, there are many places where people wear protective gear to keep us all safe, like our dentists and doctors' masks and gloves. What about the loud sirens? I hear them all the time now. That can be scary, I know. But remember, when you hear a siren, it means help is on its way. Maybe when I'm big, I can help too. Yes, actually, you can help now by washing your hands, keeping good distance, and sneezing into your elbow. Remember, you're not alone. 
I'm always here to talk to you. But sometimes it helps to talk to someone else too. Would you like to do that? I'm not sure. I just want to know if I'm ever going to feel happy again. I am sure you will. But there are lots of ways to be happy. It doesn't always mean that the hard things go away. It means that we learn to deal with our feelings and take small steps forward. Like what? Well, how about we make our own ice cream shop until we can go out again? In our own house? Yes, in our own house. I can't wait. Mama, let's write down everything we need. Son, let's get some sleep first. We can do that first thing tomorrow, okay? Okay, but can I still sleep with you the night? Yay, the Arthur Jenny de la Cruz left some little keywords that you can use to talk with your little one about with this pandemic situation. And resources. The end. Click here to continue with this two-part episode.